Spending time like it was going backwards Bruises covering our walls but they fall down Diving deeper in the books that we read blind Breathing in and breathing out to get smarter uh, Not working out for me, yeah, yeah Coffee? Throffy Monkey. Throffy Monkey. Um, yeah. What did your sister say about it? She recommended it, right? She said everybody in Nashville knows about the Frothy Monkey and everybody can't go there and not go to the Frothy Monkey. Okay. So we gotta All go. Right. She better and not better not be like her Earl Grey tea thing. <laughs> I swear. Wait, was it the Earl no it was the London Fog? The London Fog. <laughs> no, I thought it was Earl Grey. No, it's uh, the London Fog. Yeah, that was trash. Yeah, I had to do all the heavy lifting by myself. Uh, hey, I didn't ask you to do that. Ugh. There you go. I just want to show you guys the setup we got going on here. So, <laughs> we're charging the batteries in the back with this cord back there. Please excuse. And then take the e-brake off. It's very messy in our van right now. We're still figuring things out. But yeah, we're but charging is, everything as we're driving. Sometimes the best way to figure things out is just, you got to do it. Oh my gosh. All right. She's being mean to me, folks. She's being mean. Good morning, everybody. Slide right on the Magnolia Boulevard. Good morning, you guys. You look back on this one day and be like, wow, I was really mean to Jake. No, I wasn't. You know. I just have um, a bit of, I just have a bit of backseat driver syndrome right now. What? I'm borderline joking. No, you're not. Yes, you always say that. You, when you know you're defeated, you say, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not defeated. Anyways, er. we're just going to have to get used to this, like, um, navigating and traveling, you know, a lot. And we're going to be driving a lot, so we just need to, like, learn how to communicate better and, like, you know, not backseat drive. <laughs> It's just, um, Nashville is very busy and crazy. We're not used to these roads, we don't know these roads, and yeah. So it's been kind of stressful driving on like really busy highways and stuff like that. But it's just something we gotta get used to, so we're working through it. <laughs> but today's gonna be a good day. We actually started off um, on a really good foot because we slept really good last night. We got like a full eight hours. It was nice and cold in there and we wanted to wake up today and go to the frothy monkey in franklin but we decided that there's still some things we want to do in the city um, downtown so we're gonna go ahead and hit the gulch today and i also want to go to crumble cookie because i've heard so many good things about crumble cookie um, and then after we do that we're gonna go to franklin and kind of explore maybe go to some shopping malls or um, some good restaurants down there. I've heard some good things about um, the food. So yeah, I'm really excited. Today is gonna be our last day in Nashville. We're talking, we were talking about it this morning and I think, yeah, today's gonna be our last day in Nashville and we're gonna go ahead and head to Kansas City tomorrow. Yeah, Nashville's been super fun so far and I'm kind of sad. I wish we could stay longer, but we're just trying to map out our road trip right now and we really couldn't afford to do longer than a few days here so it's already almost 11 o'clock and i haven't had coffee yet and that might be another reason why <laughs> yeah i'm grumpy but um but we'll catch up with you guys whenever we get into the frothy monkey okay y'all we just made it to um downtown nashville and we got our coffee we stopped at frothy monkey and i got the havana latte what did you get babe i got the it's a lavender latte I've never we seen got it before. That's lavender, right. which I like his, but I like mine better. Let me try yours out. Sweet. Ooh, yours has cinnamon in it. That's good. Yours tastes too milky for me. Yeah, mine is. It's like, it's really milky. Yeah. It's different. What's his last one? Schultz. Oh, this vintage shop is closed. 
But yeah. This is so cool. U.S. Post Office. This reminds me of Japan. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Interesting. The sun poked out and it is like super hot right now. So we're cooling off. About to head to the Gulch. So we've heard really great things about it and there's a lot of cool murals down there we want to get some photos in front of. Um, after that, I think we might go find somewhere for lunch. We really like the Frothy Monkey, but um, not my favorite, like, all-time favorite I'll coffee shop. coffee shop yesterday. That one slapped, dude. But this one, eh. I would recommend the Frothy Monkey. I didn't eat there, so maybe the food's really great. But, I don't know, I feel like we don't get what the hype was about. But, it was good coffee. It was good. I wouldn't go again, though. Nah, maybe the one in Franklin's better. That might be it. Because that yeah. one's in the middle of the city and, like... So crowded. Yeah. I wonder if Franklin's probably better. It's super hard to find parking here in Nashville. Like downtown, it's difficult, especially in this huge van. So, <laughs> if you guys have any tips for parking in big cities in a van, let us know because we're all ears. It's been a nightmare. So, we're just walking downtown right now in the Gulch and we're looking for. Um, this coffee shop called Elixir. I know we just had coffee, but we didn't get enough and we really, need more. It really wasn't that good. Yeah, it w we were a little disappointed, but. The dog need to chillax. We have CBD treats. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, um, so we're on our way to find this coffee shop called Elixir, I think is how you say it. And I looked at some of their photos and they looked really cool, like these pink iced coffees and stuff. I don't know what they are, but. Um, it's about a 15 minute walk, so we're just walking and hoping to find some cool murals and take some cool photos and then we're going to get some iced coffee and yeah. Alright y'all, we made it to Elixir. And I got strawberry milk um, yeah. latte and then this one's called a butterscotch latte. Oh, it's a bendy straw? Is it good? It's really good. Really? You have to suck at the top and just move the straw down actually. Goes. Okay. Let's see this. Oh, there she goes. So you get a little bit of espresso and then finish it with some strawberry milk. This one is bomb. Okay, this one's the butterscotch one. Good. Is it? It's a lot more bland. I mean, that one's pink. It's got to be good. You this know? one's very good. It's just like not a lot of flavor, which right. is good. That's what I like. I like it to be like. I would do anything just to get you back again. Yeah. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. Your soft skin, cause we're still sleeping in my head. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. made it to Franklin and we are starving so we're getting ready to go to Puckett's. We haven't even ate today. We just had two coffees and some a few chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah so we're gonna go to this restaurant called Puckett's. It was recommended to us by a friend so we're really excited and we're super hungry. Um, I'm rocking my cowgirl hat. I don't know if it's acceptable to wear it down here um, and my cowgirl boots that I got online somewhere. They're not even real cowgirl, bo cowgirl boots but Jake's got his, and let's show him what you're wearing, babe. 
got my new boots on. Shoes, or er, boots, area, jeans, Walmart, shirt. Plato's closet. <laughs> Okay, so we just got seated and I think we're gonna get cocktails. Um, I'm looking at, there's one that's called your peach and then a Puckett's Old Fashioned, I think. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at the burgers here mm -hmm. and there's this one called the Farm Boy Burger mm -hmm. and it's pretty much a bacon cheeseburger but with an egg on it. Ooh. Yeah. And house honey mustard. I haven't even looked at them yet. We should get an appetizer. For sure. Or we just do it for it. No. Probably not. Okay, so I got the You're Just Peachy. And I'm pretty sure this is just lemonade and vodka, like a peach vodka. And this one's super good. And then what'd you get, babe? It's called the old fashioned, but it's a whiskey and it is then we're lying, it's strong. It's like it a really straight strong. up shot. Yeah. I'm sipping on it and I'm struggling, but it's, it's strong. That is like so strong. <laughs> it's real strong. I'm Maybe that's what I need though. I'm not a big whiskey fan. Like I I like tequila. Yeah, Ugh, that's true. Hot whiskey. I'm that sorry. Is, that's strong. Cheers. Cheese. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Ooh, that looks so good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great. Oh, this looks amazing. Okay, so I got the salmon platter with green beans and then it came with like a little pancake on the side. So I'm super excited. Honestly, we've been on an empty stomach all day long and all <laughs> the first thing we the first thing we put into our systems is alcohol, so we're kinda of feeling it. Ooh, a little buzz. But I'm excited to dig in and eat. Somebody's supposed to perform at 7 p.m. So we're gonna, it's six o'clock right now, so we're gonna try and stay for the music, but I'm excited for that. All right, y'all, we just got done at Puckett's. Food was super good. I would definitely recommend it if you're here in Franklin, downtown. Um, I'd probably give it like a seven and a half out of 10. It's pretty good. I'd probably eat there again. It was a little it's pricey. It's a high-end Cracker Barrel, but their food yeah. was good. Mac and cheese, 10 out of 10. Anyways, we're just walking around um, downtown right now. We're gonna find just some cool places to take some pictures. And I think we're gonna head back after that. And um, did you still wanna go to Crumble Cookie? Eh. We might go to Crumble Cookie, but it just depends. So um, we'll keep you guys updated on that. So we just got to Crumble Cookie and we are tired. Like, it, I think it just like hit. <laughs> you good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We are really tired. Um, it might have been the alcohol, but I just feel like exhausted. But I do have a sweet tooth, and um, I've heard really good things about this crumble cookie, and I've been wanting to go here ever since we got to Nashville. And I guess their thing here is they have like different flavors every week, so I don't know what they are, but I guess we'll find out whenever we get in there. Um, yeah, you excited, babe? I like cookies. Yeah. They're good cookies. They're not just any cookies. We'll see about that. They're crumble cookies. Did Gabrielle recommend this? Yes. Oh boy. Pretty much everybody who's ever been in Nashville knows about crumble cookies and they know that they're amazing. So I'm really excited to try them. So here we go. I like them a lot, we can come back. Bag. All right, we just got out of Cookie Crumble. I got the peanut butter M&M cookie. I got the churro cookie. And you know, they didn't really have that many options. No, they had, well that's because their thing is like, they do the flavor of the week, oh. so it changes every week. That's oh. like their thing. Really? Yeah. I think it's only one cookie. Because they can do six new cookies every day. I don't know. Does it, this is how we does wash it still our sanitize hands. if somebody else has used it on their hands? I think so. Ooh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh! Look at that. Alright. 
it's we'll got try. peanut butter on the inside. What? No way. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're gonna take a bite at the same time. Let's go. We really need some milk. <laughs> Is there a grocery store close by? <laughs> There's Trader Joe's over here. Are they open? I don't know. We get some almond milk though. Mm. Bro, we we really need milk. Mm -hmm. Honestly, bro, how do people fit, like eat these in one sitting? You know? I don't know. But... These bad boys are heavy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they, they probably weigh like two pounds. This is like. Those are really good. Wow. All right, guys. Cookies. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Especially if you like rich, heavy stuff, which we're not big on. <laughs> But I'll make an exception. Yeah, like might as well just eat a whole cupcake because those taste like cupcakes to me. Better than cupcakes. They're better. Way better. But oh. they're like heavy. They're heavier than cupcakes. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh. That should be a crime. I can't even imagine what would happen to me if I ate like a whole one of those in one sitting, you know? We are gonna wake up tomorrow morning and go to a coffee shop and kind of just relax and take it slow tomorrow. Um, but tomorrow is our last day in Nashville. We're going to be leaving um, sometime in the afternoon, heading towards Kansas City. We got to say goodbye to Nashville, but I think we did a lot in the time frame that we were here. So yeah, I got a pretty. I feel like we both got a pretty good idea of what Nashville's about, mm -hmm. like how the area's laid out. Yeah. Is there any tips we have for Nashville? Plan your trip. <laughs> They're like thanks. That, that really <laughs> that really did it for us. What's your tips? Okay, my tips would be if okay if you're a big Johnny Cash fan, go to the Johnny Cash Museum. However, oh yeah. if you're like okay, I I like Johnny Cash. He's cool. Like I listen to his music. I know who he is. I love Walk the Line, the movie. If you think like that, like I do, do not go to the museum and get bamboozled and spend fifty dollars for two people to walk through a museum that takes ten minutes to get through. Yeah, we really didn't give a review on our uh, unreal impression on the museum when we went in, but definitely feel like it was not worth the money not it worth cost it. 25 dollars a person 50 dollars total and we weren't prepared for it but we went in anyway because we were like oh it'd probably be you know worth it and no it took us 10 minutes to don't get do it in guys. And out. not worth it the the merchandise wasn't even worth it mm. like nothing special either no. So, too. yeah, we kind of just felt like we got ripped off, yeah. but, um, yeah. yeah, and we love Johnny Cash. It's not like we were just, like, not interested, because I love, yeah. I wanted to know what was going on. Um, what else? Don't go to the Johnny Cash Museum unless, like, you really want to. Uh, plan your trip really well. I would, okay, I would you say. You should know that downtown Nashville, like, 5th, what is it, 5th on Broadway, like, that whole strip down there, like, um, is packed 24 7 we went on a monday morning and it was so insanely packed i'm like i can't even imagine what it would be like on a friday and saturday so night. like my recommendation is if you like going to the bars you like dancing you like loud music drinking all that stuff you would love fifth on broadway that is all you it's like a street made yeah. specifically for you okay so my yeah. top favorites out of the whole trip were centennial park um elixir coffee and crumble cookie. Crumble cookie. My favorite coffee shop though was that uh, Love. What's oh yeah, that place was good too. Just Love Coffee. Just Love Coffee, our first day in Nashville. You guys probably saw the video of me eating the waffle with the bacon and egg and sausage in it. You guys gotta go try that because I've never had anything like that in my life, but it's God's gift to Nashville. That's all I'm saying. That's the one thing that saved Nashville for me. It saved it. And I'd say the other thing that saved Nashville is Franklin. Yeah, Franklin's the city of Franklin. Super nice. Franklin's Franklin. like southwest of Nashville. Franklin's super safe. Um, lots of cool stuff here. Nicer like restaurants and um, shopping centers and stuff like that. Coffee shops, restaurants. It's all good. So love Franklin. We're gonna call it a night here, and then um, hit a coffee shop in the morning, yeah. and head out um, early afternoon tomorrow. But we will catch up with you guys tomorrow. The vlog isn't ending here. We're just it's just night. beginning. It's just beginning. <laughs> no, it's not ending. The vlog. The vlog series is just beginning. Oh, yeah. The van life series is just beginning. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, we're calling it tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow.
Okay, good morning you guys. We just made it to downtown Franklin to this coffee shop we're gonna go to. Um, it's beautiful out here. Like, it's probably 65 degrees. I no, haven't felt weather. It's probably like 70. But I haven't felt weather this nice probably since I moved to Florida. It's is... beautiful. Um, but yeah, we slept in a hotel parking lot last night and it was a um, pretty safe area and we slept pretty good. We just had a hard time falling asleep and um, yeah, that food last night made me feel weird. Like, I don't know if it was like the whiskey or something, yeah, but, same. but um, yeah, so my sister recommended, my sister used to live here in Nashville, so she recommended this coffee shop called the Coffee Shop Second and Bridge. Um, so that's where we are right now. And we found a parking spot, so we're just walking there now. sat down at the coffee shop, we got our coffees. I got the coffee coffee latte with almond milk and it is so good. But like I said, I bought everything, but where'd you get it? Got the large white mocha with almond milk. Hot. I like how it's I think you just had that like more flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Looks so good. That's what I'm most excited about for this road trip is like trying out all the different coffee shops across the country and figuring out which one out. is our favorite. Yeah. So if you guys have recommendations for coffee shops um, all over the country, let me know because we want to hit those spots. Okay, so we found this cute little antique shop and they're having a Porsche sale and I'll show you guys. It is so cute in here. It smells so good. These cool little cars. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, can't impulse buy because I live in a van now, but it's cute. Okay, so I found this little sip jewelry set. And this is like. If I could buy anything in this store, it would just be vintage jewelry. I love this stuff, so cute. All right, y'all, we just got back in the van from Trader Joe's and it is a mess in here. So I'm gonna clean up and put the groceries away um, and just kind of get situated. So when we go to Planet Fitness, we can just shower and then get on the road. are headed into Planet Fitness here in Franklin because we need to shower. <laughs> Disgusting. Here we go. This one's oh, this one's way nicer than the one in uh, downtown Nashville. Out. Yeah. Where we saw the bike monkey. I know. Live. All right, y'all. Blau. Blau, blau. We live in Nashville. Actually, Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, y'all. We just got done showering at Planet Fitness and we had a little bite to eat. So um, it's time for us to get on the road. So did you think, did you enjoy Nashville or? I, okay. So Jake and I are like uh, homebodies. And I think if you are more of like the partier type and you like to drink and go out with friends, then downtown Nashville is like your scene. For me, I don't know. I think I love Nashville. Like I think it's really cool, and there's it's, a lot of um, cool shops and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, it's like interesting. But I don't think it's like my scene. But I really have liked being here, like walking around downtown and everything like that. Yeah. Um, 
I, yeah, I would come back with like maybe some girlfriends and have mm -hmm. like a girls weekend or something. Mm -hmm. We really, really liked Franklin. I'm glad we ended our trip here. Oh yeah. But yeah, highly recommend Nashville. I'm gonna miss it here, but I'm ready to like get on with the road trip. I'm so excited to hit the West Coast. And this was just like a stop we were making in this between like that. This is like a good demo. Nashville was our guinea pig because um, it definitely, there's things you gotta learn when traveling mm -hmm. in a van, especially with somebody else and just, yeah, it's a mess. I recommend keeping it a clean space in your van because the cleaner it is, the better you're gonna feel. Um, we cleaned up today and reorganized the back where we keep all of our storage and I feel uh, like a million times better than I did the past few days because mm. we just, it was a mess in here. And did you fart? Yeah. Babe. Was it bad? It's so gross. It felt good. <laughs> you stink. Hey, I put a fan in here for a reason. Anyways, yeah, but I don't want to ramble too long. I just wanted to do an outro for this vlog and I really hope you guys liked it. Um, I definitely would give Nashville, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 just because it wasn't necessarily my scene, but I can appreciate it. And there was a lot of cool things to do here. Mm -hmm. A lot of good uh, restaurants, good food, coffee. We'll be hitting Kansas City next and there's, that's my hometown. So there's tons of fun things to do there. So. Stay tuned for that and yeah guys if you like this vlog go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you're not already let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought or if you guys have any recommendations for um like places that we're going to be hitting next like the west coast that's where we're heading towards so let me know what state you're from and the best things to do in that state or in that in certain cities and yeah we'll see you guys in the next vlog when we go to kansas city thank you guys so much for watching bye